Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to get to 5.9.904 on the Bionic. That is the latest uh, available update. It has been leaked. It's not official yet. Uh, they're beginning the soak test over the next week. This is not ice cream sandwich, but it does bring tons of bug fixes to the Droid Bionic. Uh, it can be difficult for you to get there if you're coming from 5.9.902 or any uh, other custom ROM, but I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to do that today. So what you're going to want to do is head to the link in the description and you're going to want to download the uh, 5.9.902 FXZ files and you're going to flash those in RSD light because you have to be running 5.9.902 stock so you, you best bet if you're running any kind of custom ROM if you're if you've hacked your phone in any way if you've rooted your phone best thing is just to go ahead and jump on this uh, 5.9.902 the link in the description is also going to include some files uh, if you're running like a 5.886 still or one of those previous builds that you can flash that version of this FXZ file which will allow you to jump onto that version and then flash this 5.9.902 after you've done that to get yourself to 5.9.902. The, the main thing here is that you need to be on 5.9.902 uh, so you would open that your phone should be connected. You'll have this option to uncompress and start flashing. That is the option that you will choose. Uh, once you've plugged in, you'll see your device listed over here. Uh, make sure it is listed over there, and then you'll just I click uncompress and start flashing. That's going to take probably 15 to 20 minutes. When that's finished, you'll now be on 5.9.902. Uh, so in that link in the description, it'll have RSD Lite, a uh, link to that, and it'll have the correct file that you need. So once you're on 5.9.902, then you will head to uh, the link in the description, which is going to bring you to droidmoderx.com slash bionic. And it'll bring you to the page where the 5.9.904 leaked file is. Now the good thing about this file is that it is rootable via Motofill. And you can also uh, FXZ back to 5.9.902 once the official release comes out. It's not like the old cheesecake leaks where you couldn't go backwards. This is backwards compatible. So it's going to bring you to this page here and you'll just come to this Mediafire link. Uh, go ahead and download that. If you, if you do that on your phone it'll be better because then you'll have it on your download folder in your phone. So you'll go ahead and download that. Once you have downloaded that on your phone you will go to your file manager and it's going to save it to your S I mean it'll save it to your internal phone storage in the download folder so what you want to do is make sure that you grab that and move that now this is not the correct file because mine was already moved you'll want to move it to the SD card and move it there so once that is moved and see, mine was already there. It was the one that I flashed over yesterday. The It's a blur version, uh, 5.9.902. I know that sounds weird because we're actually going to 904, but for some reason, Motorola names their files with the previous build. Uh, so once that is on your SD card, the external SD card, you're going to boot into stock recovery. So just power down the phone. We'll power all the way off here. Okay, now we're going to hold down both volume buttons and the power button till this screen comes up. And I'll get it focused so you guys can see what everything says here. Let's see. Okay, so you're going to want to go to recovery and then hit the, the volume up button. That's going to bring you into the stock recovery. Okay, so from here, you're just going to, uh, let's see, press and hold both volume keys, and you will go to apply update from SD card, hit up, I'm sorry, hit the power button to select, and then you're looking for uh, blur version 5.9.902 XT875 Verizon.en.us.zip. So that's what you're looking for. You're going to select that, and it's going to go ahead and install that. So we'll just sit here and wait for this to install. Now I already had it installed. Um, so it's just going to reinstall that real quick. So we'll just give it a few minutes. Once we do this, you'll be able to root it via Motofail. Which I'll have a link to that in the description as well. Lots of links. 
lots of files to gather, but it'll be worth it. You'll be on a newer version with better radios and reception and lots of bug fixes. And of course, like I said, this is backwards compatible, so you should be able to get back on 5.9.902 without any problems via the FXZ files. So when they do make it official, you'll be able to flash it. Now, some people have said that this is what they were doing with the Razer. They were just getting some updates ready and uh, hopefully preparing ice cream sandwich for the Razer. So maybe that's what they're doing for the Bionic. They're just kind of paving the way for ice cream sandwich on the Bionic, getting a couple of updates pushed out uh, to get this phone ready for ice cream sandwich. That's what we're all looking for on the Droid Bionic. Anyhow, right, we've got the dual core processors. What good are they unless it's running ice cream sandwich, right? Give this thing just a few more minutes. Okay, so when that is finished, uh, you will probably want to go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset and select that, and then go to Wipe Cache Partition and select that. That should have cleaned everything up. So now let's go ahead and reboot the system. And now we should be on 5.9.904. And I'll show you guys how to root 5.9.904. And it is the same method that roots the Razer and the Droid 4 and the Droid 3 and the Droid Bionic. Just that Motofill by D Junior Bliss. Now this, this part here may take several minutes because you just flashed a new system. So we'll go ahead and pause it here. Or actually we won't. It's booting up now. So we'll go ahead and let it boot up, do its thing. As soon as this boots up, I will show you in settings where we're now on 5.9.904. Okay. So now we're just going to head into settings. And... We'll go to About Phone, and we're looking for the system version, which is right there, and that's 5.9.904. So now you're on 5.9.904 if you want to root it. We'll go back into Settings, make sure our USB debugging is turned on. So we'll go to Settings, and we'll go to uh, Applications, and make sure it, we'll go ahead and ch check unknown sources and go to development, check USB debugging, and then we'll just plug this in real quick. And we'll go to our Moto Fail on the computer, and I'll just kind of zoom in on that, or at least get that in focus so you can see it. Exit out of the Internet Explorer here. Exit out of that. Okay, so all we have to do here is double click on the run.bat and we'll press any key to continue. So it's going to go ahead and root the device. And it's rebooting the phone. So when it's all finished, uh, rooting is going to tell you that the exploit is complete. You press any key to continue. So that'll exit you out of the program. And then we'll just go to our phone. And let's get out to where you can see it here. So we'll just run the root checker. Make sure that we have root. So we'll go to verify root access. It says, congratulations, this device has root access. So now we're on 5.9.904 and we are rooted. Uh, there are reports that people have installed the uh, bootstrap recovery for the Droid Bionic and they have been able to, uh, well, actually, I would not suggest doing anything on the bootstrap recovery. I would suggest doing it on SafeStrap recovery. Uh, so go ahead and you can install SafeStrap recovery and run SafeStrap recovery to uh, put various ROMs, uh, CM9, AOKP, and 
uh, the gamut of ROMs for your Droid Bionic, and you'll be running the 5.9.904. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe right there. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment below. Uh, also, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, wherever you can. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.